Welcome back, friends. This is Practical IT, continuing on the React.js tutorial. If you like what you have seen so far, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and to hit the like button. And uh, friends, we have already seen uh, so far on the React.js regarding like the how components are going to be created. By far, we are showing only the uh, class component. And on this one, we're going to cover how we're going to add the style to our components. And for this, I have moved to a new component, the a new uh, application or a new uh, project on React. So we're going to start that one um, by using yarn start. And this would uh, be creating that one. Um, basically the idea is let's start like a little bit of fresher kind of project. We have been using that one like a little bit longer. So this one is going to give us like a fresh start. So now going back to this one and if we got our local 3000, yep, we got it every, uh, already. Now let, let's clean a couple of things before we do, uh, we go further. I can uh, close this out and I don't need like the header over here. And uh, we have been working on a class component. So we'll continue with the class component. Of course, we don't need this one. And we're going to export React the component. Oh, sorry, not export, extends. And uh, we need to have like render. This one is going to be a part of it. And I'm going to uh, have it like format a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to save that. If I go back and if I refresh it, I'm having some problem. React is not defined. That's true. That's because we don't need this one as well. We're going to import React from React. And that should fix the problem that we're having. And the only thing is uh, we have cleared that one as well. So this is what I'm expecting. Now we don't have anything inside. The only thing that we're having is a clean div. So here is clean uh, component, uh, component. And if I go back, then I'm going to see here is clean component. And remember like the it is a little bit uh, top and center and that's because we are still getting the class name over here. So now we are in a good position to start our discussion of like the uh, style. So the first thing or probably the most advised one is to utilize like the external CSS file, just like the way we have it like by default over here. And one thing to note on this one is how we're going to import that one. You don't need to give like any name that you're going to be just using on this one, rather you're going to import directly the file. So if you are importing like the CSS or probably some of the image and whatnot, we're going to be just using the import and like the, the path to that file. And this CSS is a plain old CSS that we are all familiar with. Uh, then we have like the dot, which is starting for the class and the text align. And with that, like the properties is here. And also the values are going to be just given on the CSS file. We don't need to do like any uh, quotation or anything. Uh, it's going to work just out of the way. We have like our media queries and everything that you see over here, uh, we are more familiar uh, with it. You know, just there is nothing, any anything special about it. So one thing is when we're when we are trying to use it inside our uh, component, then we have to import that file, that uh, application that CSS. Right now we are on the same um, path as this one, but later, like let's say, if you're going to be just having a newer folder over here, and then if you are having like a CSS, and then if you want to open oh, that one, if you want to move this one over here, and I'm going to move that then we need to uh, accompany the, you know, like assign like the same thing on that in order to get um, that stuff, you know, just otherwise it's going to work. So wherever it is, we're going to just uh, follow that path and then try to import it. That's the one thing. And the other one thing, the, the other thing is uh, over here along, around line six, you're going to see, we're not going to use the traditional class as we are using HTML, rather we're going to be just using class name. And, um, as a reminder, what we are showing over here is a JSX, which is basically a JavaScript, even though it looks much like that of like the HTML, it is not an HTML, it is basically a JavaScript. 
Uh, so uh, we're not going to confuse uh, React with by having like a class because class is basically a reserved keyword for a JavaScript and we're not going to use it over here. Rather, whenever you want to add a class, then you're going to give it like a class name. Actually, this one is even more descriptive because the class name in this case is app. And as you can see, just like the way we have been using it, we don't use a dot over here. Rather, we're going to use the dot only for the purpose of like declaration. And this is how we're going to be just using the uh, file and an application on this one. So if I go back uh, over here from the center to the left, then you can see that this one has been moved to that of the left. And any any of those things that we are having, let's say we're going to add, let, let me add it like under the paragraph. Here is the clean, sorry, we have already had it here. So if I uh, move this one into here, and if I save that, then it's going to be under the paragraph. And if I add any paragraph under this, like if I say dot app in paragraph, and let's say color is blue, uh, font size, let's go to like 30 pixels, uh, pixels, and let's give it text uh, decoration underline, uh, just to give like a good thing in there. Then you can see that uh, here is the clean component we have been underlining it and then the uh, text, I mean, the font is going to be just a little bit bigger because we have given it over here. So if we keep this one center, just so that we have like a better understanding, then it's going to give us like back to this one. Now, the whole concept that I'm showing you over here is when we are using the file, then everything is as usual. There is nothing special about it. Uh, all of our styles are going to be just here. We're going to import the file. The only thing that we have to remember on this one is whenever we are using a class to be used, then we're going to be just using a class name, not a class. Otherwise, it is all straightforward. It is very easy to use. And uh, for every kind of like the uh, class or element or anything that we want to use, we can go ahead and then just pro uh, proceed with this one. Now, on the next video, I'm going to show you uh, how we can have like the inline kind of CSS. And um, just a reminder on CSS, we have a couple of ways to add the CSS. So in this one, you can uh, think about it as an external addition because this one is like a file that we have added. And then this is how we're going to link it to the, to the you know, just quote unquote, like the component. But there is also another way that we can use, which is the inline one. Uh, we can utilize like the style and then implement it. And I'm going to show you that one on the next one. So this is one way and probably the preferred way uh, to use uh, the style on your components. But the other way is just to have like the inline one and we're going to see that one on the upcoming uh, video. So again, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like uh, the, the uh, video. And thank you very much for your attention. And I'll going to, I'm going to see you on the next video.